Greetings, my friends. Jimmer Linz here. Like a lot of you, I recently gained access to the Source Filmmaker Beta, and uh, like a lot of you, I am extremely excited about the possibilities of this tool. I thought it would be useful and informative and helpful to create a series of tips, a tip of the day, about how to use Source Filmmaker. Now, a lot of these are going to be really basic stuff, and so I don't want to hear any complaints about how you already knew that. It's not always going to be something you didn't know, uh, but hopefully there will be a lot of people who will find this kind of thing useful. One of the first things that I thought would be useful to point out as a tip of the day was something that confused me quite a bit going through the tutorials, the otherwise very excellent tutorials put out by Valve. Uh, a number of times the person who did the videos referred to going back and forth in the timeline by pressing shift and dragging the mouse button back and forth. But no matter how many times I did that, it didn't work. And then I discovered accidentally how that function works. So I'm just going to really quickly show you how it works so as to clear up any confusion on the part of some people out there who have been following the tutorials and maybe getting a little bit frustrated. So the first thing I'm going to do, uh, I have created uh, or loaded, I should say, the uh, stage.bsp map. And this is a really, really simple map. Only takes a moment to load. I like it because it's small. It is simple. There's not a lot of stuff that gets loaded. And this is a great place to do these kinds of things. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new camera, which is what the first thing they show you in the tutorial. And I'm going to go put the camera over here in the corner. So I'm looking back and forth. And I'm going to control click here and switch to the work camera and come over here so I can see, kind of get a bird's eye view of the action. Now I'm going to switch over to the game view. And uh, for some reason, it always shows that black screen at first on this map. I don't know why, but it doesn't really matter. So now I'm going to go over here to the corner, press F11, and I'm ready. And this is going to be really simple. I'm just going to hit record. Yes. Wait for the beeps. Beep, 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 beep. All right, I'm going to run around in a happy little circle. I'm going to stand here on the circle, and then I'm going to taunt. And we're done. Now I can play this, and it will follow me with the player camera. I can switch to the, uh, to the camera I created before press stop here and play it again and you see me run through from a static camera. Either way, I now have a timeline sequence here and that's great. So I press spacebar to stop it, go back to the top of it by pressing the up arrow key. Now one of the things that confused me was the, the gentleman uh, in the Valve software tutorials kept on talking about pressing shift and holding the mouse button down and that's what I'm doing. You can see my mouse moving back and forth but for some reason it didn't work and it wasn't until I realized the mouse pointer actually has to be in your viewport window for this to work. So if you want to use the shift mouse scrub, place the mouse pointer in your viewport window, then press shift, then move it back and forth. And as you can see, I can now very easily scrub. And it works in both windows. If you're in, in this particular viewport, uh, some if you have a different layout right now, you might be using one, one uh, uh, viewport uh, instead of two. It depends on which window layout you're currently using. This is the one I like, uh, but your preferences may vary and you may have a different one. But as you can see, I can scrub back and forth and so forth. And so it won't work if I put it over here or if I'm down here or I'm in the timeline area. It has to be in the viewport window, which is not something that they made clear in those tutorials. I felt like an idiot the first time I realized, oh, you got to be up there. But it really was a very counterintuitive thing because I'm used to stuff like that being associated with the tools you're actually using. And at the time, all of the tutorial stuff had been talking about working down here in the timeline, you know, dragging back and forth here to scrub. Uh, and and using and, and throwing the thing underneath here. So for what it's worth, if you want to use the mouse scrub on the timeline, just make sure that your mouse pointer is positioned in one of your viewports before you press the shift key and scrub to your heart's content. That's the uh, first tip of the day for Source Filmmaker, and I hope you found it useful, and I will be doing more of these. If you have suggestions about good ones or stuff that you might like to see, uh, definitely hit me up. Let me know, because I am at your disposal. Thanks for listening and watching, and I hope you have a great day and enjoy using Source Filmmaker.